One of the new features in Ornatrix version 4 beta for Maya is something we call graft grooms. If you click the third icon from the left on the Ornatrix shelf in Maya, it will open up the graft grooms tool window. You may need to double click on it to open the window. Inside the graft grooms, you have two sections. The first one is the graft surface section, and the second one is the surface graft grooms. Before these appear, especially for the beta builds, you may need to find and extract an archive into your grooms directory, and more information about that is inside this video's description. So the graft surface is something that you put on top of your character or another mesh, and for each graft surface, you have one or more different grooms available. All of these grooms are creatable directly inside Ornatrix and you can create them yourself, the process which we will outline in this separate video. So first I will select a graft surface and then I will select a graft groom. The first one is automatically selected for me. Then I will just click and drag on top of my character mesh to create this eyebrow graft groom. Once I have placed the graft surface onto my character using a drag operation, I can click on the individual vertices of the graft surface and I can move them to adjust the positioning of my groom if it's not already located in my desired configuration. I can also increase the soft selection iterations, by default it's two. I can set this value much higher and then I will be able to move a bigger surface of my mesh on top of my target mesh. When the mesh is placed, the groom is automatically generated on top of it. By clicking this select option in Maya, I finalize the graft groom placement operation. Once I have created my graft groom like this, I can select it as a separate groom shape in Maya, and I can open my Ornatrix stack window, go to the groom node settings to expose the groom parameters. I can also expand this graft grooms option here and this will allow me to change the groom for the currently placed graft surface. So I have created three different grooms for my eyebrow. Please bear in mind that I have just created this quickly for the beta demonstration purposes and we will likely have a more production ready set of grooms for the release. So I can click these buttons to change my grooms on the fly. And if I select the groom that I like, I can adjust its parameters if they were exposed. For example, I can here change the width of the eyebrows. I can increase or decrease the frizz. And I can also modify uh, the length, make them shorter or longer. These parameters were pre-selected to affect specific look of this groom, and they can be customized when generating the groom. We'll explore this process later on. So if I go back to my graft groom's tool settings window, I just deselect uh, this groom for now. I can click and drag a second graft groom to represent my second eyebrow. Note that if I drag in the other direction, it will automatically mirror the direction of the groom. Just as before, I can select this one, go to my groom, change the eyebrow style, so I can make them something different like this. And I can repeat the process as many times as I need to add the different parts of the facial hair for my character. So for example, in this case, I can select the mustache uh, graft surface and I can click and drag to place the mustache onto my character. Again, just as before, I can click and adjust the soft selection settings and place the groom onto my character until I like the way that it fits. Same as before, when I have this selected, I can go to my graft grooms and change the groom of this mustache. And when I change the groom, I can also adjust its parameters to modify uh, the style of my groom until I like the way that it looks on my character. So finally, I'm also going to go and select the last one, which is the scalp groom. And this is probably the, the hardest uh, to place, but I can still select and, and kind of fiddle with it until it fits on my character's head the way that I want. So once I place this groom, the hair is automatically generated and I can change the style. For example, I can switch between the mohawk and uh, the other hair that I have defined and I can adjust various parameters of my hair so for example, I can remove any, any shape changes to my hair. I can increase or decrease the curl on the hair, change the length, 
of the hair and modify other parameters. Once you have placed these uh, graft grooms on your character, you can uh, treat them just like any other groom within Ornatrix. So uh, for example, with this hair, I can go to its operator stack and I can start adding operators. For example, if I want to add another frizz, I can just frizz the hairs on top of the groom and it will work as expected. So this is just a quick way of adding grooms onto your character with just a couple mouse clicks while also having the full power of Ornatrix and its procedural stack system at your disposal.